Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss one set of the paper one for additional mathematics SPM exam 2021. So for the new format of the additional mathematics paper one, the timing is still the same, two hours. As you can see, it's still the same with the old KBSM. Okay, what is the difference between the KBSM and KSSM? Is the paper one consists of two sections, which is section A and section B. For KBSM, we have 25 questions. No section A, no section B. For KSSM, we have section A consists of 12 questions. Alright, so the total marks of the 12 questions for section A is 64. And then for section B, you can choose. Out of 3, you can choose either 2. Maybe you choose 13 and 14 and the marks for section B is 16. So the total marks still the same with the old KBSM, 80 marks, right, for paper one. So during the SPM exam, you need to write your uncle here run. And then let's have a look at the formula. Okay, uh, for the new format for KSSM, we actually uh, provided only 24 formulae. Too bad, there are many formulae not given. So I advise you to write down all the formula that is not given compared to the uh, last uh, last time the KBSM there are many formulae given so if possible you will have to uh, try to list out all the formula that will be in the list all right formula that won't be given so you need to uh, list down and then you need to memorize the formula okay so right now maybe i can show you what are the formula that are not given compared to the old exam the old syllabus actually in fact uh all the formulae that are not given are very important too for the paper one for K S S M. So for the old syllabus, we are given uh formula in terms of algebra, calculus, statistics, and geometry. But for the new K S S M, you only given one page. Of the formula consists of 24 questions so uh, it's pretty uh, pretty uh, how to say uh, unlucky right so you have to memorize a lot of formula so if you compare with the old syllabus right uh, this formula for sure is the first one given for the algebra other than this formula they will give a formula like index indices you notice that for the KSSM, all the indices formula that you learn in max were not given. Okay, uh, they won't they won't give you all this. Uh, beside multiply, you got many indices formula, right? Uh, M N is equal to A M times N. Uh, if dy, you have to minus. So all these formula will be given in the exam. So it's uh, assume that you must know. You can't uh, refer. So for this three, it won't be given. So you have to jot down and try to memorize it. Okay, for uh, logarithm, you were only given changing base. The only formula for logarithm is changing base. What about the addition, 
and the subtraction and the power. So you can always refer to these three. There's a connection between the indices and the law of logarithm. In fact, you, you must know how to prove. So when you look at here, multiply, multiply, it becomes plus. So that means you must know that log a m times n is equal to log a m plus log a n. Remember, there are two base of log a, log base a twice, okay? It doesn't mean that log a, you cannot say it's like this. This is totally unacceptable. This is wrong, totally wrong, okay? So, uh, if you really can't recall, uh, you have to list out these three first. Then only you list out uh, the law of logarithm, okay? And then we have uh, if dy, right, if dy, log a m over n is equal to log a m minus log a n, this division, all right. Then we have the power, the power law for logarithm, it won't be given, it's log a m power n, the n can be give, bring to the in front. So you should be able to write down all this formula. Okay, on a piece of paper. So you have add another six formula that you must add to the list. I mean, you have to prepare a list of the formula that not given in exam. Go through before you go to SBM exam. Okay, changing base given. And the AP, they gave you uh, the end term for the AP. And then uh, for the GP, given uh, end term. Sum for the first n term given. Uh, this one is the same like uh, the old syllabus. This one also given for the uh, GP if the R is more than one. This one for R less than one. Uh, but they won't tell you this is for R uh, more than one or less than one. You should be able to uh, list down the condition, all right? And you must know R cannot be equal to one. And then, uh, yeah, the sum to infinity. By right, you should be able to uh, derive from the from the uh, sum to infinity. You should be able to derive from the r less than one. So it's actually just let this thing zero when n is uh, very big. So it's a one minus r. This is not given. When the r is more, the size of the r is less than what I mean the magnitude, so it means that it can be negative, right? For the r here, can be positive, can be negative, but it must be less than what. All right, so sum to infinity it won't be given. So bear in mind that you have to know that uh, so many formula is not in the list. All right, and then for Question uh, for formula number eight uh, actually is belong to statistic. So statistic, uh, like example mean, median, standard deviation for group data, ungrouped data, all this will be testing in mathematics, not in additional math. So we, we will have only probability for the uh, Bernoulli formula, P plus Q equal to one given. And then for NPR, the formula given, NPR is N factorial over N minus R factorial, this one given. And also you're given the Jack score, the Jack score for normal distribution and Bernoulli or binomial formula. And then a combination N C R N factorial over N minus R factorial over r factorial right but the uh, circular permutation formula not given so you must uh, you must aware and then we have that formula like this p a union b right is p a plus p b minus p a intercept b this one will be testing in 
uh, mathematics. Uh, this is not given. All right, you have to memorize. This is in the uh, additional max syllabus, mean for the uh, binomial distribution and the standard deviation. This one also not given. Surprise. Uh, variance and standard deviation. If variance, you don't have to square root. And bear in mind that these three are not given. And then the score given and the index number, the same given in exam. Uh, then the composite index, this is a composite index. So it's also given. Alright, so then uh, formula for coordinate geometry, I, ca I couldn't find here. Can you find one coordinate geometry formula? I don't think so. I can find here. So it means that you have to memorize. Right. For the geometry, we have distance formula, which is x minus x1 square plus y minus y1 square. I was shocked. This formula was not in the list. So you have to add on to the list to your memory system. Okay. You have to memorize it. You take out a piece of paper. You write down and every day you look at it. This is plus, okay? And here is minus, all right? Uh, distance not given. Of course, the midpoint. Uh, midpoint won't be given. So you have to recall from your, from your CPU, your brain, all right? So try to list down like this or the formula that you need to memorize. And uh, there's another formula which is not only not given, instead they can ask you to prove, which is ratio theorem. You need to know how to derive the formula instead of you memorize it. They want you to derive on your own. So you have to go through all the proving and deriving the formula list that I suppose to uh, share with you, right? I already shared with you a long time ago. Even in the YouTube that I, I did, I did quite many of the uh, sharing on deriving and proving of the formula. Surprising, this formula will not be given. They don't encourage you to memorize. They want you to derive on your own and then all these are coordinate geometry coordinate geometry or geometry uh, we have a uh, area of the triangle which is in point form which is this formula area is 1 over 2 x1 y2 plus x2 y3 plus x3 y1 minus x2 y1 plus x3 y2 plus the x1 y3 all these formula will not be given all right so even if given uh they will ask you to prove they won't ask you to refer to the formula list right this is area of the triangle when it involves point or coordinate and to my greater surprise, surprise, very surprise, the magnitude also not given. Magnitude of the vector and uh, unit vector in the given direction was not in the list. So it seems like you have to do a lot of preparation by memorizing all these formulas. All right, all this one, the magnitude and then uh, vector in the unit vector in the given direction. All this you have to list down and go through before your exam. For all the geometry formula will not be given. Will not be given. I couldn't see any one of the geometry formulae. I only can see trigonometric formulae given. 
example basic identities here right they give you all the basic identities the all the three right as you can see this one uh this is the basic identity for sine square a plus cos square a equal to one sec square a equal to one plus tangent square a and then there there is another one which is cosec square a equal to one plus cotangent square a and you're given addition formulae for sine a plus minus b and cos a plus minus b and also tangent a plus minus b and all the double angle were given all the double angle cos to a you have all the three formulae right tangent to a given and then for the sine rule this is called sine rule they won't tell you this is a sine rule this is a sine sine rule okay this is given cosine rule given a square equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a and the area of the triangle is 1 over 2ab sine c but the heron formula was not given so you have to memorize it all right and then uh i think that's all the formula given 24. you actually uh if you want to compare with the OKS KBSM, KBSM for the algebra we have thirteen formula. For the calculus, notice that there's no formula for calculus, isn't it? I didn't see any of the calculus formula given. Shocking, shocking! It's really shocking. If I do comparison, I notice that calculus we have five formula, which is uh product rule then uh, u times v right we have u times v we have this for calculus we have this uh calculus this is c let me write properly for calculus we have uh y equal to u v we have y equal to u over v and then we have d y d x equal to dy du times with the equal to dy dx equal to dy du times with the du dx all right and then this is uh, v uh, du dx minus u dv dx over the v square and this one we have the uh, u dv dx plus the v du dx so we have a uh, five formula for calculus other than this we have the area under the curve bounded by uh, x-axis dx if bounded by y-axis is x dy surprising this formula all are not given even for the volume volume ab pi y square dx and then integrate from ab pi x square dy also not given all the five formula for calculus were not in the list okay will not be given so you have to prepare for it all right so then uh geometry not given calculus not given only the uh trigonometric given right trigonometric uh surprising trigonometric last time we have trigonometric consists of trigonometry consists of the s equal to r theta not given area of the sector one over two r square theta also not given All right these two not given so bear in mind that you are aware and then uh, other than this i think the rest uh given so area for the segment uh is area for the segment you should be able to write down on your own uh is 
actually sector minus uh, triangle, right? Half R square sine theta. So this one all won't be given in exam. So if you forgot the formula, you cannot solve the problem, right? So uh, the first time new format, less formula given, new format. But anyway, you'll be given the table for the normal distribution, right? So today I'm going to go through with you uh, paper one. Okay, so for this uh, introduction, I just do the comparison between the formula given compared with the KBSM. So uh, just to remind you, you have to get ready with another piece of a uh, list of formula that not given in exam as I mentioned earlier. So I will discuss the section A question in my next video teaching. Till then, bye bye and have a nice day.